So let's now figure out how much storage per day our messaging app will use. And we're going to look at storage just for the messages. We're not going to consider metadata, etc., because we don't know at this point what our metadata is going to be. So when we do a very high level capacity estimation, we just want to look at how much storage our messages will need. So we'd made these assumptions when we were estimating the requests per second. We can use these same assumptions to calculate how much storage we'll need. We need one more assumption though, which is we know how many messages messages we're sending per day. We should also know what the average size of each message is. And so let's assume an average size of one kilobyte per message. Now this is pretty large. Uh, each message, let's say we're only doing text messages, right? So no images. One kilo, so each character takes one byte. So one kilobyte means a thousand characters, which is pretty long for a message. But we're also assuming that a message can contain metadata about what sender it is, which group it's going to. And so overall, we're saying the message takes one kilobyte. Now in reality this might be less or more but we're just making this assumption. Okay so with this assumption we can use these three assumptions to figure out how much storage we need. So we're sending 36 million messages so we really need 36 million kilobytes per day. Okay let's turn that into more reader friendly numbers. So 36 million, a million has six zeros, kilobytes, right? So here's a neat trick. This is in kilobytes. You skip three zeros and you go to mega Gigabytes. Skip three zeros here and you go to gigabytes. Okay, so really we need 36 gigabytes of storage per day. Okay, and that's our number.